there are many people in America who think about risk management in terms of businesses. In other words, what is our risk if we do this? What are the pros? What are the cons? What are the pluses? What are the minuses? And what we used to call a SWOTS analysis. The strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities, and the threats. The realities of life is that there are many people who have not done their life correctly, and they think that if they take advantage of someone who's homeless, or take advantage of someone they've seen in the news, and they try to be that person, play that person, or do that person, then they can't lose. The liars all across America can even put up a famous person's website, and that person may be so busy in their life that they may not know today. Now, really big, huge superstars are going to notice and are going to have people looking to see if anybody is trying to use their main brand, their professional brand. But what I can say to you is that the stupid people of America think that nobody's paying attention at hand. What I know is that I have downloaded some images that were once on my videos, but I purchased or created those videos, which means the copyright on those things belong to me based on my interaction with the company or my work. It never ever means that some other person can take those images and put them online, and it never ever means that that person can utilize those videos or those slides for something of thine, meaning something of theirs. They have violated federal law and copyright law, and those companies today have crawler engines. Even when my friends, who was a very poor kind of social business network of mine, was somebody who was doing a book on the finances of getting your kids in college. She was a divorced woman, and probably somebody who had been in the military and living off a pension, living off a divorce, and living off proceeds of her book as she sold it, whenever the hell that was. And openly, even she was starting, and she was into photography like me, but different than me. I'm a bit more of a business photographer, not a social photographer. And that's not my point. The point is, even she was using these technology crawlers to go out and look to see who was thieving her images from her. And I thought, wow, that's marvelous, but obviously you've got a lot of free time on your hands. A lot of people think they can get away with lies. A lot of people think they can get away with theft. A lot of people think that they have the right to motherfucking screw somebody out of their life and their worth and the income that they deserve. And I see that all across this community. Homeland Security is desperately needed here. But Homeland Security has to be really savvy. They have to speak Farsi. They have to know on, on whatever the Honduran language is, if, it, if it's Mexican or Spanish or whether it's Puerto Rican. I don't know. But we need some serious people in the military to start showing up all over town in their uniforms, out of uniforms, and checking things out. And they need to be reporting to whoever the fuck they report to so that the right strategy in the military palace can be seen, heard, and found.